It is indeed Blake Snell on the mound for the Friars. Making his 12th start, uh, you know, the one in six record, he'd like to lower that ERA as well. But uh, like I said, it's all about progress. And last two times out, what's it been? The curveball, the slider, the fastball? Well, last couple times out, it's been all three pitches. So it's all about getting ahead because when he gets ahead, he can put him away. Nico Horner going to lead off against Blake Snell, final game of this four game series. Here comes the eighth pitch of the at bat. Outside ball four, and that's a heck of a plate appearance by your leadoff man. Yeah, and it brings up Dansby Swanson. Strike three call. Needed that after the walk of Horner is able to strike out. Dansby Swanson looking one away. And hat batting right handed steps in. In the air center field, Tatis charging. It'll fall for a hit. Horner to second as Hat dunks one in, and there are two aboard. With one out. So Tatis, who is a late move from right to center with Grisham being scratched. You can see it right there on the replay that half step back that Tatis took on that ball. I would imagine Bob Melvin's thinking right now Trent Grisham with his gold gloves might have made that play. So two aboard, one out, and say a Suzuki at the plate. Strike three. Second strikeout for Blake Snell, out number two of this first inning. Swing and a miss, and he strikes him out. Went to the fastball to get it done, ends up striking out the side. So they threaten but do not score. As the third strikeout of the inning for Blake Snell wraps it up. Padres are coming up. The big right-hander out there on the mound is a welcome sight for Cub fans. First pitch swinging, Odor. Swanson on the outfield grass handles the chance. There's Tatis now. On the ground, softly hit. Swanson is there. Two up, two down. Soto's been quiet in the series. One for nine. Swing and a miss. Strike three. What a nice one, two, three inning for Kyle Hendricks. We go to the bottom, or rather the top, of inning number two. Cubs nothing, San Diego nothing. It's a leadoff single. The batter is Trey Mancini. There is no score. We're in the second inning. Swing and a miss. And Mancini strikes out. Strikeout number four for Blake Snell. Here's Amaya. That is strike three. Yeah, that's five strikeouts now for Blake Snell. Two down. And a ground ball down to third base. Manny Machado will go to first with the throw. That's in plenty of time to get Morrell. And that wraps up the top of the second inning and a half done without a score from San Diego. Manny Machado leads off against Kyle Hendricks. Shoots it the other way. A little blip. Right center is going to fall in for a base hit for Manny. One down man at first. No score. And it's Gary Sanchez. That's been a strike. You know, when a left hander throws it in that location, it's been a call, it's called a strike pretty much every time. You've been calling it a strike all night. I mean, David Ross is letting him have it right now. That's closer to a strike than the two strikeout. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. And gracious. David Ross has just gotten ejected. Now he's going to get his say. And David saying, You're missing pitches By well that off much. the plate. Yep. Yep. Andy Green, the bench coach, will assume the managerial duties, we assume. Here's a liner to deep left. Back is half. That ball's gone. Welcome to San Diego, Gary Sanchez. A two-run home run as the Padres on top two to nothing. His first Petco Park home run in a Padres uniform after two on the road. Ripped down the right field line. A fair ball headed to the corner. Carpenter's headed for two. Suzuki with a throw to second base that will be late. Sliding into second with a one-up double is Matt Carpenter. So one away. Carpenter at second base and Hassan Kim, his first A.B. of the night. On the ground to third under the glove of Wisdom down the line to the left field corner. Carpenter's come around to score. To second goes Kim and the Padres have a 3 nothing lead. Let's see if Suzuki can drive in a run. Here comes the 2-2 from Snell. And Seiya hits a ground ball to third. Backhanded by Machado. Long throw to first and he got him. What a play. Manny Machado made a backhanded stop with a long reach. His momentum carried him into foul territory and somehow from foul ground made a long one hop throw across the diamond to get Suzuki. Tremendous play by Machado. Quickly, two down for Kyle Hendricks. Gonna bring up Manny Machado. Right center field, and that's gonna be a gapper to the track of the wall for Manny. He's into second base, standing with a two out double, and Machado tonight is two for two. Two down, a man at second. Jake Cronenworth now. 
to the left center just bloop and that's going to fall in for a base hit here comes Machado he will score and the Padres take a four nothing lead Jake Cronenworth with a base hit and an RBI top of the sixth inning Dansby Swanson will lead off against Blake Snell is a swing and a miss and Swanson strikes out runner on first one out for Suzuki and a fly ball short right Dixon coming in make the running catch for out number two. Patrick Wisdom was struck out both times is at the plate against Snell up the middle and Kim ranging will go to first base with the throw that is in time nice play by Ha Sung Kim from shortstop Snell through six for nothing Padres well before this ball game we talked about the last two now we can talk about the last three for Blake Snell only two hits did walk three struck out a 64th career hundred plus pitch game for Snell ended up being 109 pitches and the eight K's the most he's had in any outing since opening day and the bases are loaded back to back walks a lot by Assad Carpenter tonight one four three doubled back in the second inning Carpenter drives one to center field Morrell going back at the wall and makes the catch tagging at third and scoring is Machado Padres will take a five nothing lead but that was really close to getting out of the yard for a grand slam. 3-0 pitch is ball four, and that's the third walk of the inning allowed by Assad. Brandon Dixon uh, struck out looking, fly to right, and last time up, single to left field. To third, Wisdom's going to go to second for the force out there that will end the inning. But the Padres pick up another run, take a 5-0 lead of the night. Tim Hill takes over on the mound, the fourth pitcher used tonight for Bob Melvin. Two down in the ninth. Fly ball right field struck pretty well. Dixon going back out of the track will make the catch in front of the fence to end the ball game. So the Padres with a shutout, fifth shutout, ties them for eighth in the majors in shutouts. Snell will get the victory in this one and better his record to two and six.